In this video, I will show you how to repair an electric garland if it is not working. I have a New Year's electric garland of the EK04 brand that is supposed to shimmer with a variety of different lights and blink beautifully and elegantly. But it shows no signs of life at all and does not turn on. Now we will check it, connect it to the power supply, 220 volts, and test it. When the button is pressed, various different modes, such as the ones expected, should light up. But unfortunately, nothing turns on at all. Usually a separate bridge may not work, but here none of them are working. This means we need to look for the specific problem in the power supply to this board, or its components. First, it is necessary to access the control board of this garland. To do this, carefully open the casing. There are small latches here, and we try not to break them. Carefully and slowly, gently pry them up without causing any damage from four sides to the delicate components. And we open it. Here it is. This is the control board. It is quite simple. And there is a contact group here that also needs to be opened. The item is attached using thermal glue, a special adhesive applied in a heated form to create a strong bond between the surfaces. Everything needs to be returned in the reverse order. We open the cover that secures the contacts. Here you can see that it is glued with hot glue, so I had to slightly cut it. And here is the contact group right in front of us. As you can see, one wire that comes from the power supply is, fortunately, broken. Therefore, as a result, there is no power here, at the moment. And indeed, all the other wires that go to different circuits of the garland are all soldered. So now we will carefully strip the wire and solder it back in place properly. We'll secure the wire well and solder it back in its place. We plug it into the power supply and check it before assembly. As you can see, the electric garland works without any issues. Everything turns on well. And now it is necessary to assemble the control board back into its case. First, we close the top cover. Here it is already pressing. Now, it is necessary to take hot glue and securely seal these contacts so that they do not come off again. And we put the cover back in place. We need to smooth it out while the hot glue sets. After the hot glue has set, we'll finally check the operation of the electric garland. As you can see, it works in many operational modes and various settings, and everything is functioning properly. The contact group will no longer be damaged because I thoroughly covered it with a large amount of hot glue. 